What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you the new Apple Music. So as you guys know, with iOS 8.4 rolling out today, coming with it we have Apple Music. So if we go ahead and open this up, you'll notice first of all that we have a brand new icon. But if we go ahead and tap on that, you'll notice that we have some UI tweaks to the application itself, as well as obviously some new features. So you're going to see right up here in the top left hand corner that we have just our account. So you'll notice that our name is right here. If we tap on this, you can actually put in a uh, nickname right there as well. You just tap on edit and then type in your nickname there. Coming back out here, we also have our following. So who are we following? So if we tap on that, you can see that basically what this does is take all of the music that you have on your device and automatically follow those specific artists. So you can see right here, you can toggle this on or off right there up at the top. So if you want to toggle that off, you can see that it's going to unfollow everybody. But you'll notice right here that it says join Apple Music because I haven't done so just yet. But if we tap on that, you'll notice the two different plans that we have here. First of all, we have an individual account, which is $10 a month after that free three-month trial ends. Now, we also have a family up to six that allows family memberships that use family sharing, and that's going to be $15 a month. So that's definitely a much better deal if you have a family up to six. So of course, I don't have a family because I gotta make videos all day, but after you select your plan, just enter your password for your Apple ID and you can set that up. So once you've entered your password for Apple ID, you're basically set up and you're good to go. So let's start over here at the bottom left hand corner where the tab says for you. So right here, this is where you're gonna tell Apple Music what type of music that you're actually into. So this is gonna be a whole bunch of different genres that you can tap on. And so let's just say that I'm into classic rock, I'm into R&B, indie, country. Uh, let's just say that I'm into electronic. I'm really into electronic. So I'm gonna tap it twice because that actually makes the circle bigger and it says that I like this more than the next. Uh, let's go to dance, also hip hop, I like a little bit of pop and we'll tap next. So then after you've selected your genres, this is where you're gonna actually select three or more favorite artists. So at this point, you're just gonna to have to go through and decide which ones you like the best. I do like Kid Cudi. We're just gonna go with those. So we're just gonna tap done. You can actually tap more artists down here as well if you want to, I just, you know. We don't wanna spend all day selecting artists. So let's continue going through this here and you can see now at this point, we have for you. So we can scroll through here and you can see basically what type of music that it's suggesting for us. So we have Taylor Swift, big fan of hers, who's not? I like Lil Wayne, uh, Carrie Underwood, she's good. Uh, Underground B.O.B., I like him. So there's a lot of good music here. It's got Whitney Houston. So you can just tap on this and it's gonna actually pull up that music from that particular artist. And you'll also notice that we have a completely new looking uh, media player right here. Now, if we tap right up here in the top left-hand corner, it's actually going to minimize that and allow us to continuously uh, scroll through and basically discover more while this music is playing down here because we have a mini player here. So we can tap the little play button and it's gonna start playing. Of course, it's scrolling through all of that information right there, the name of the song, the name of the artist, as well as the name of the album. And of course, if you don't find anything here that you like, then you can always just search for it right here. So you can search through Apple Music or you can actually search through your music. So I'm just gonna tap cancel here and we're gonna go over to the new section. So here, obviously, this is going to be all the new music that you can actually listen to right now. So you can see right up here that we have a featured artist, uh, Pharrell Williams, so let's go ahead and play on that. So you'll see that right when this starts to play, that it's actually a music video. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna pause that and we're gonna minimize this again. You can also see right over here on that mini player that we have some other options if you tap on that dot, dot, dot. So you can add that to your music. You can show it in the iTunes store. You can share that music video or you can add it to a playlist right there. So you can see as that scrolls across that you can swipe across as well. You don't have to wait for it to change. Also coming down here, you have the new music se section. You have some hot tracks scrolling down some more. I mean, you can see kind of how this is all set up. You have your hot albums. Now, if you want to change the genres, and you can do it right up here at the top. So you can change this to alternative blues, you know, any basic genre that you want. So let's just say that we're going to change it to pop. So once that loads up, you can see, obviously, that's going to change all that music to pop genres. Now, also, if we go over here to radio, this is very similar to iTunes radio, except now we have Beats 1, which is basically a 24 hour live music radio station. So there's a lot of people that are actually really enjoying that. Now coming over here to the right, again, we're gonna go to connect. So you can see that you can connect your music through the people that make it happen. So these, this is where you're basically following artists. So if we go down here, you can see who you're following. You can follow 
particular people that they're suggesting right here. So if you want to follow some of these, we'll just tap on follow. We'll follow Whale. Coming down here, we'll follow Kanye, even though I don't really want to. We'll follow Eminem, Mac Miller, Schoolboy Q. Not even sure who that is. But you can see that you can follow these artists and you can actually go to their pages. So if we tap on the artists, you'll see that you can connect with them. So they have a music video here. You can like it, you can comment, you can share it, you can play it, obviously. If we tap on all right here, you can see basically the latest release that they have, their top songs, top albums, top videos, videos to connect. I mean, there's a ton of different stuff because not only can they post videos like this phenomenal uh, music film teaser right here, but they can also you know, post pictures, write comments, anything like that, and you can interact with them directly through that connect. So you can see that this is all that's here right now, but I'm sure there's gonna be more content from all of these artists as time progresses. So after you're done picking out the artists that you wanna follow, you also have obviously My Music. So right up here on My Music, you have your library, you have your recently added, which are not very much for me because I don't hardly ever use the music <laughs> that's on my device. But you can tap on playlists as well and you can see the purchased music. You have all your playlists right here that you can select. Obviously you can tap on this dot 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 and you'll get some more options here like play next, add to up next, make available offline, add to playlist, or you can delete it right there. Of course coming back here you can see that you can scroll through all your artists but if you want to change that and sort it a different way if you have a whole lot of music then you can change it to albums, you can change it to songs. Of course, this all looks pretty much exactly the same. It's just gonna change the way that you sort, so it's gonna make things easier to find. But if for some reason you only wanna look at music that's available offline that you have downloaded onto your device, you can see right here as we tap on that, you can toggle this on, and then it's going to show only the music that's on your device. You can see right here that I basically don't have any, so it's telling me to basically show all music because I don't have any music offline, but that's what that toggle does. So that's just a quick rundown of Apple Music and what it has to offer. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Is it something that you guys are gonna be signing up for at least for the free three month trial? And then are you going to actually start paying for it once that free trial is over? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll look forward to reading those. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys wanna see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, until next time, peace.